No chill, no filter. Take me, bitch! Hello everybody, my name is Courtney Francois, the host of Conversations with Courtney Francois and Conversations with Francois podcast. Mm, and tell me, give me a quick synopsis on it. What, what is it? So Conversations with Francois is a society and culture podcast where we talk about a little bit of everything. Spirituality, relationships, um, dating, real life topics basically. Real life topics? Real life topics. Okay, well we're talking about real life topics. What do you think about this, uh, this, this stolen car thing that's going on right now? I didn't know it was a superhero out here a chasing Smith. them down. Did a you know? A Smith, that's my man's. You know they shot him. I it, saw it, it just hit his it just hit his vest. He cooled him. I saw the video. I wanted to show my kids we had a superhero, but then I couldn't show the Are video. We get shot. Yes. Yeah. He's called the Kia Hunter. The yeah. Kia Hunter. Yeah. And then these little Kia boys. What what's up with that? I don't know. I don't understand why they're out stealing these cars, but they also stealing Cadillac converters too. I get those emails no, every they, day. They've been doing it. They've been doing that. <laughs> but see, but see, the, thing is, the thing is, with them catalytic converters, they've been doing that since the beginning. They they've yeah. been doing they've been doing catalytic catalytic converters for I don't know how long. But right now, it's these kids that's out here pretty much putting a lot of people's lives in danger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then the funny thing about it is, you know, I just saw a post today from this young lady. And she said something about um, if you chasing my yeah my child steal cars and if you chasing him and I, I, and you ain't the police I'm I'm gunning you down some 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 foolish some foolishness like that what? And, and and when she said that I ain't gonna lie to you I jumped right on her ass and I, when when I say jump right on her ass I was talking about yeah then when somebody kill that little mother I'm talking about boycotting his damn GoFundMe so y'all can bury his punk ass <laughs> yeah. all that shit you know what I mean. <laughs> Cause see, they, they, they think you can't be disrespectful like that and expect not to get it right back. That's exactly, energy. That shit was exactly. ignorant. You put exactly. that in the light. I mean, it's coming right back exactly. at you. So, so just personally, personally, what do you, what do you think about that? Hold on, wait, wait. I do smell something now. Uh, <laughs> Which one of it? Wait, it's hot in this room now. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, but I still. What's in the hell? Is but it do still okay. smell. I like fresh it. Fresh though. No chill, no fresh. Okay, as long as you're not saying it's bad in right. here. No chill, no fresh. This is my yoga room. We'll do that till you be sweating all over the place. Well, yeah. yeah. If there's your yoga room and it's still not, you know, got the got, got the tankness, then we cool. Good, good. We good. We good. Uh, okay, we, so still in these kids. I, I don't really understand. When I was younger, I did steal vehicles. It was my mom's vehicle or her boyfriend's. <laughs> right. But I want to just out taking random people's cars now. <laughs> right, no, they, right. And then they just crash it and then go get another one. Yeah, yeah, and then see that's that's the part that that makes everything so unsafe. You know what I mean? They they out here they crash in these vehicles and they don't care. They reckless and and you know I hate riding down the street now. I, I don't yeah. even like coming out no yes. more. You know what I'm saying? Because it just doesn't got that damn stupid. And, and then you know we can't really defend ourselves the way we want to because they not like it ain't like they okay you know what let's run into this car. But they do something to make you definitely want to dump their ass down. Mm -hmm. Most of, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean so but you yeah. but you got to be patient. So you know what. I just say, you know, chill in the house. You know, if you ain't me myself, if it's a if it's an A to B situation, I'm cool. I'm not riding around though. Yeah, I'm, we not, gotta just, teach I'm not just though. chilling. Huh? We gotta teach them though. We gotta teach them. They should have been taught, but the problem is, you got babies raising the babies, and and you know they friends and not parents and kids. You know what I'm saying? It's it's more of the well, we can't keep it's more of the buddy excuse. buddy shit. No, well, I mean, but that's 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 not an excuse. It's a fact of life. Yeah, but we gotta teach them. We have you, to teach them. We, you saying we? You community all, at this are point. Your, are your children doing it? No. Are your children stealing kids? No. Are your children stealing kids? Not at all. Nope. Okay, so then y'all doing y'all job then. Y'all can't yes. do it for but everybody. But if another, child, if another yeah. child hits my child while she's crossing the street to go to the bus stop, for instance, it becomes my issue. I understand I don't that. live but, that but far ahead in fear. If I did, I'd be staying in the house. But how do you feel that How do you feel that you're supposed to stop that person that's driving that car then? I'm not saying we're supposed to stop them. Talking about it like this is what's bringing awareness to it. Somebody's mother is going to see this video and see... We love your babies as much as we love our own babies. But y'all putting us in a position now to have to start speaking up. And if we're speaking up, y'all are speaking up. And if you're saying some ignorant shit, <clears throat> our minds go from protecting babies to, hey, yours got to go to jail now. Like, what, what was... Yeah, I mean, no, my mind different. I'm going to pop your baby. Nah, that's that's real life, hey, fuck them kids. Them kids. Yeah, real life, fuck them so, kids. I'm trying not to go there, but that's what's happening. Yeah. We're all getting to that point where we realize yeah. my child or yours. And I ain't trying to, like, make that choice. But what, 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 what exactly. we going to do? Right. Exactly. What do you mean? So, you know what, I'm just going to speak my piece on it and then we can wrap it up because we ain't no use, you know what I'm saying, we pretty much spinning wheels right now because right. I feel that it all starts in the house. It right. does. It, it does. all starts in the home when these kids, they don't have consequences, you know what I'm saying, why, why you think, well I know you don't know me so you wouldn't know, but when I go around, kids just really hate when I come around because I'm just so no nonsense. We're not finna do the whole reaching over me, it all starts from there. 
It all starts to, you see me sitting here, you see my big ass sitting here, but you want to reach over me and, and, and <laughs> interrupt me and your mama conversation like, like you grown. You know what I'm saying? And even a grown person better say, excuse me. Right. So I'm teaching them how to say, excuse me. I'm teaching them to pick up behind themselves. I don't live there, I don't care, but I'm there now. You know what I'm saying? So respect me. That, that's all I that's all I ask. But they don't got that in the house. They they have absolutely no quest, uh, no no uh, consequences in their homes. Yeah. So and, and without those consequences, they leave a the home thinking that they still got that same, you know, they can afford that same right. And no, you can deny your mama, your daddy, you can deny your pre your principals, your teachers. One thing that won't be denied is life. You can you can disrespect life all you want to and it's gonna give you everything you're looking for and you ain't gonna like it. I promise you that. That's the reason why all this stuff is happening now. That's the reason why these kids is losing their lives like they are. It's just so unfortunate that innocent ones are dying too. Yeah. Right. And I'm gonna put it to you like this here before we leave. I ain't with defunding the police. I'm with defending the people. Period. So if that's what right. we're gonna do, then let let's let's right. let's practice what we preach on now. Right. Like we're dividing our energy too much. In real exactly. life. Okay, y'all. Well, this is a no chill, no filter TV moment with who? Netta, Miss Jackson, how are you? Mm hmm And Miss Francois. <laughs> thank you for coming through and we definitely gonna be doing more. Alright, y'all heard it here first, man. It's your big homie MC Ronski. I'm about this bitch. Peace.